Rain's Old Spanish Trail Day is this Saturday, and we are visiting with Dr. Eddie Palmer to hear all of the details on the event because a lot is going to be going on over there in Rain this weekend. Dr. Eddie, thanks for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. All right, let's talk about a little bit of, of the history of the Old Spanish Trail. I mean, that's really what this event is all about. So tell us why you guys are, are having this event. The Old Spanish Trail Auto Highway is something that began in uh, 1915. Uh, Battle House Hotel in uh, Mobile, Alabama. A group of good roads enthusiasts saw what was happening when the Model T was invented. And uh, there were just more and more of those cars and uh, they needed a, a place to, to uh, use their vehicles. And so that particular group got together with others across the whole country and said, uh, we need to have this particular road that runs uh, coast to coast. Mm -hmm. And uh, they uh, came up with the name Old Spanish Trail Auto Highway because in Florida, there was a lot of missions, Spanish missions around the northern part of Florida. So that group of people said, why don't we call the, the whole thing the Old Spanish Trail? And it went all the way across the country. Wow. So you get to learn a little bit, I mean, a, or a lot about the history. There's going to be speakers and different things at Rain's Old Spanish Trail Day. And let's get more into that, everything that's going to be happening on Saturday. Um, so first off, we can talk about what's happening outside in uh, the open car show. The open car show takes place under the pavilion at Rain. Uh, that's where any vehicle that people are proud of, they can bring it. There, there's no prizes, no judging. It was a get together and people talk about automobiles and travel and uh, so forth. Uh, that's taking place outside. The inside in the Civic Center, we have a whole host of vendors. 30 plus vendors will be setting up, selling arts and crafts, quality work. Uh, we will also have some demonstrators that will demonstrate their craft. Um, some artists will tell you how they conceptualize their art and give you a demonstration about that. Um, so we have food and of course inside the Civic Center we also have our speakers. Uh, do you want me to name those speakers? Um, if you know the names, sure, sure, we'd love to hear absolutely. them and maybe a little bit about what they'll be, they'll be telling us. Absolutely. It starts off at 9.15. The, the event kicks off at 9 o'clock. That's our opening ceremony. Uh, and it's free to the public. Our speakers that will be in the mural room inside the Civic Center there in Rain. The first one will be a French table uh, by Mr. William Thibodeau, who's an author. And uh, he will have a list of terms in French related to the highway and related to service stations and so forth. And so that French table will be about the old Spanish trail. Uh, Jean Thibodeau, also an author, uh, he will be taking, uh, taking us through history, uh, looking at how things in rain looked in 1931 versus 2022 Very along the old Spanish trail highway. Uh, we also are very, very pleased to have noted photographer Philip Gould, mm -hmm. and he'll be talking about his book, Bridging the Mississippi. Uh, then we'll have a paper by a columnist and historian, Jim Bradshaw, and then I will end it up in the afternoon with a talk about the evolution of the service station. So much going on this Saturday over at the Rain Civic Center and Pavilion. A lot going on inside, but also the car show outside. Make sure you check that out. We'll have a link posted on our website, KLFY.com, if you guys would like to learn more information.